If you're a FreeBSD or indeed a Linux user, then no doubt up somewhere along the line you've come across the DD command. DD command stands for data duplicator and it's often used when, say for instance, you're copying a ISO image or a USB image file onto a um, USB stick or part, you know, whatever you want to put it on. And it can be used also to copy partitions and it's just generally uh, a very useful little command. It's a very powerful command, so you have to be careful where you're pointing it to, otherwise um, your data can get overwritten. But in this video, I'm going to be showing another way that you can use DD and perhaps it's some way that you've not considered before. So the usual way that we would use DD is DD and then we put input file equals, oh I don't know, some uh, USB image and then we need an output uh, file so it's uh, forward slash dev forward slash DA0 which is a FreeBSD USB drive. Uh, BS or bytes per second or block size, it, it, I've heard it different uh, interpretations, or it's just straight bytes. But in this case, we're going to use DD to have a little bit of fun. So first we're going to issue DD, and then we're going to put conf, and then equals UKS. Now what is going to convert whatever you type from lowercase to uppercase? And it kind of does it live or instant, but I'll show you a little uh, thing that you have to do first. And you can type something, say for instance, this is a test of converting lowercase to uppercase. And not seems to happen when you press enter. And y if you press control C, as you thought you perhaps you might need to, uh, it wouldn't work. What you need to do, and I learned this by uh, by accident, what you need to do is obviously, you know, dd conv equals ukase again. Type in a sentence. Press enter, I suppose. And then you need to actually press control D. And as you can see, it says underneath it, this is a test to train. So it's converted what we typed almost live into uh, uppercase. Of course, this can also be done the other way around. Say, for instance, uh, you type something in in uh, caps lock, which we've, I think we've all done. And I said, oh dear, I have left the caps lock key on. And again, we can convert it, but down this time. So that's kind of cool, I like that. But that's only for a, a, a live uh, sentence. Let's try this for a text file. So I'm just going to create a little directory, and in that directory, I'm going to put a little file. I'm going to call it test, and in it, I'm going to write, hello, oops, I can spell, this is a test file containing lowercase letters. I'll save that. And there it is, listed it. And just to check, it says, hello, this is a test file containing lowercase letters. Now we can use DD in the same way we did when we typed it live to convert. So it's DD input file equals test. We're in the same directory, of course, if not put directory path there. Output file equals test, and we'll call it, oh, for wanting of a more imaginative name, test upper, and conv equals, and we want to change it to uppercase. Right, not seems to have happened, so we'll list it, and there's the new file. We put cat test, so there's the original, and cat test upper. There's the new file. So we've converted one to the other. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So I'm not going to try, uh, I'm not going to convert the up upper to lower. I've already shown you that. And in fact, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to mangle one up, which is, uh, so I'll create a new file called test mangled. And in this case, we're going to use conv equal swab. Now, it might seem weird that we call it swab. But what this does is use DD to swap every pair of input bytes. Uh, it's easy for to show you, really, he says. So it's swapped the first two uh, letters around and moved them on slightly. So it's uh, you can just like E and H and LLO and then there's T and the space. So that's, um, I suppose that's pretty cool. 
I suppose, if you want to scramble up something you uh, don't want people to see. So we're just going to remove uh, one or two of the things we've already made. So uh, let's speed through this. There we go. Should be left with the original file we had, which was lowercase. So just check that out. Yep, there it is. So now we're going to do is that we're going to convert or make a copy of the original test file in test file 2, convert it to uppercase, and miss out the first few uh, letters, like the ho and then comma. So we put IBS equals, and I'd say six, maybe, yeah, six characters long. And tell the DD command to skip, skip these first six characters, and we'll have a look. So if we list them, you can see there's two files, the old one and the new one we created. If we have a look at the old one just to check, and we'll check the new one, and there it is, look. This is a test file containing lowercase letters, so it's missed out the hello and comma, and also converted them to uppercase. So yeah, very good. I didn't know DD could do all these things. And if you want a far more comprehensive breakdown of this command than I'm provided in this reasonably short video for me, then if you check out the man page, gives you all the different uh, options. Uh, there's a few like it, IBS and OF and a lot more than I've gone through. I think you could easily, easily make a, a long video just, just with this. But uh, for now, like I say, we'll just skip over it. And to show really basically that DD is a lot more than just writing disk images to USB, which is something I've only discovered that you can do. So, you know, I'm learning something every day. So, yeah. If you found this video uh, reasonably uh, interesting, then uh, please uh, consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. And if you do, then please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, then make sure you make you hit that little uh, notification bell ding dong thing uh, so you don't miss any new videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.